Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES, and in this video, I'd like to show you an awesome free feature of Pear Deck, and that is Pear Deck's Flash Card Factory. Now again, this is available to both paid and free users of Pear Deck, and basically this is an activity where you can work with your students to make flashcards that you can then export if you want to Quizlet, for example. So let's take a look at this. Now, if you're familiar with Pear Deck, you may be uh, going to Pear Deck through the Google Slides add-on. To get to Flashcard Factory, you do have to go to PearDeck.com and log in with your account. And you'll notice at the top uh, is a little button here for Pear Deck vocabulary with Flashcard Factory. So we do need to create a list. Now, the good news is if you already have a list, you can import them. Uh, you can, like it says here, you can take and copy and paste a list, just having a tab separating the term from its definition, right? And we can see what it's gonna look like down here. So that's great. Uh, we'll import that list, or you can make the list here, uh, just like you would if you were in something like Quizlet. Uh, you can then title this list, so I can say like, practice list, I can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can see here, go to Google Drive, find vocabulary, li vocabulary list that I've already made, all sorts of different stuff. But once I have created all the terms and definitions, uh, you'll notice here, this does pair up, I have the ability to look up a definition. So for example, I could say, um, I don't know, uh, membrane. And if I say definitions, it's going to give me some uh, possible definitions because this is powered by Merriam-Webster's dictionary. So you can work in that or work in your own definition. But once you have all the terms and definitions in place, you can click on this Play Flashcard Factory. This is gonna pop out and look really similar to Pear Deck if you've used it for interactive slide projections, where your students will go to joinpd.com and then enter the code that shows at the bottom. Again, that'll be different for every time you play. Once all your students have joined, you can click the clock in button and it's gonna automatically split the, the students into two teams. We can see a day shift and a night shift and these teams are kind of working against each other in the sense of this game. But then within the day shift, there are pairings. Students get paired up. Same thing within the night shift students get paired up. In the event that you have an uneven number of students, a student will be acting solo. They're gonna take on a couple team, a couple different jobs here. But when we're all set, we're all ready to go, we can click Let's Play, and you can see now I'm gonna start getting some cards. What happens on the students, and we'll see if we can bring up some still images here, because clearly I don't have students working in this, um, but the, each student pairing is gonna be given that term and definition uh, match that you set up in the previous screen. One student of the pairing is going to be tasked with drawing a picture that is representative of that, whereas the other student in that pairing is gonna be tasked with maybe using that term in a sentence. When they're all done, they'll hit the, the button to submit it. That comes to this screen that I'm looking at. We'll see they'll just kind of like fall down and make a little line. And then that team, that grouping will get the next term and definition pair where uh, the roles have been switched. The drawer now becomes the writer and the writer becomes the drawer and those all show up. So great, that all goes until we're all set. When we have completed it, when the time's run out, whatever the case may be, the teacher can click this quality control button. And what that does is it's going to present the cards here and I won't know who did them in terms of day shift versus night shift or which student was which, but we can go through and either approve the card or uh, reject the card. Now, what's kind of neat is uh, this, the program will automatically group similar cards together. So if multiple students submitted a card for the same term, it's gonna kind of group them all together. And the idea is you wanna pick the best one, maybe the, the group, the student group as a whole, wants to pick which one they think is the best without saying who it was. And we go through that process. You do maybe wanna be a little bit mindful here of only picking one best selection per term, uh, because what we can end up doing here in just a second is ship this over maybe to Quizlet and it's gonna make a study set. And if you're familiar with Quizlet, if I try to do like Quizlet Live or something like that, if I have two terms that are identical, that's gonna cause a little bit of trouble because it may result in the wrong pairing inside of Quizlet. So again, 
uh, going back to that previous screen, we may want to just select the uh, terms, you know, one example for each term. But that's how Flashcard Factory works. It is an awesome tool. It really gets students engaged and gets them thinking of different ways to explain themselves and uh, and express themselves. Now. One tip that we had, this obviously lends itself really well to vocabulary terms, but another case that we've seen uh, is with math. Let me step back here for just a second and show you what I mean. All right, so here is a neat activity we've seen some of our math teachers use. Now, uh, in things like Quizlet, we can certainly make study sets where uh, you know the, the term is the problem and the definition is the answer, right? And it's up to the students in order to match them. They have to solve the equation to figure out what the solution is. Well, when I do that here in Flashcard Factory, we can do the same kind of thing. We can set up an equation and we can give the answer for a lot of different cases. Then when it comes time for those pairings, the student who's responsible for drawing this pairing, they need to show the work to prove that this in this equation, x really does equal five. So they're kind of working out the math in that case. What does the student do who's writing? Well, they're creating a word problem that fits this equation. So they have to come up with some sort of a situation where the student would possibly use this equation to solve the value. Really deep level of understanding and application going on there. But there you go, that is Pear Deck's Flashcard Factory. Again, this is available to both paid and free users. Super awesome tool. If you have any questions on using Pear Deck or if you need help setting up with your students, please feel free to drop me a line at rbray at btboses.org. Uh, you are welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates and notifications when new videos are posted. And thank you for watching.